guys welcome back to another vlog today I have for you a day in my life I feel like I've been a little bit MIA here on YouTube because honestly I have so many things so many things going on right now that it has been taking a lot of my time but it's soon going to all come to light which I'm so excited about I will be filming a dedicated video on that but I'm just so excited to finally just launch this project that I've been working on for over a year now but yeah today I just wanted to film a day in my life since I do have a couple things to get done like my nails and also I ended up getting a couple more furniture that I need to assemble and build from Ikea so let me show you guys that first oh my god also by the way I decided to work out don't know why but I ended up working out last week and I swear to god that I still cannot feel my legs like well not actually that's wrong I've been in pain for the past like four days now like I don't know what I did wrong but I was doing some squats and like a leg workout my god you know I, I just think like I'm just good I'm good you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy but yes another furniture for the office I feel like it just completes it so and I need it for more storage so I'm gonna show you guys so here it is I ended up getting another Billy bookcase with the doors for this side the only issue is if you guys know me and my OCD self this is gonna bother me because there's like the the space between this bookshelf and the space between this bookshelf it's not the same it's not centered and then everything basically revolves around this shelf which to solve the issue we would have to completely remove it and do it all over again and i don't know if i want to like drill anymore on these walls so i think i'm just going to let it be and put a plant like put this plant right here maybe a little bit more back um but yeah i don't know everything is pretty much built i just have to tighten this part of this door and install the other door as well and yes i will be linking it down below for you guys even though i have before but yeah definitely one of my favorite like storage looking things and really affordable um i then got something for my closet the closet is also a mess not really it's just it's pretty organized <laughs> somewhat organized um but i do need to build this dresser i ended up getting another one i did mention it in my closet organization video that i wanted to get one more i now have three so i can put it right there and you know organize all of this because there's a lot more stuff shoved in that corner that you probably can't see i also need to make my bed let's show you la pool that i'm so excited about i cannot wait till they open that pool and they also ended up putting like grass right there which makes it look a lot prettier and then we have someone tanning living the life and me <laughs> yeah i'm going to quickly make the bed first I think I'm going to end up getting all of my brushes because I need to wash all of these. I've been dreading it. So, yes. All right, so I've shared before how I clean my brushes, but I basically get a bowl like this and I put some Dr. Broner soap, which is my favorite soap because it is super helpful to truly clean your brushes and sponges and talking about sponges i actually need to get them so let me go get my makeup sponges all right so here is the before i also like using these rubber cleaner things i found this at marshall's for like nine dollars and it's been super helpful i think actually cheaper than that but yeah i just go in and do circular motion.
brushes are clean, but I have a really exciting package to show you guys because I am finally upgrading to an adult purchase and it is the best purchase ever. We are upgrading our really old and not the greatest blender to mama blender so let me show you guys we ended up getting the vitamix a2300 i got so many positive reviews of you guys on instagram when i showed you that i recently got it and i'm so excited to finally put it to use because honestly the one that we had was doing such a bad job at blending things we got the regular blender with the large container and then the 20 ounce container which is the smaller one and you can make juices here I'm so excited about this one because it just makes really quick and easy juices and this is like super powerful the blade I'm like obsessed one thing that I just noticed because Eric actually used it and cleaned it just now but the lid actually has like a little measuring cup situation how cute is that I think that is such a nice touch but yeah today I'm going to make a fruit smoothie which I can't wait to show you guys um, it also brought this little thing I guess to like you know it's called a tamper and then this small container for avocado or just like vegetables if you want to chop those up and these lids right here as well i'm going to link it down below for you guys they are actually currently having a sale which i think everyone should be taking advantage of it so i'll have everything down below for you guys but i'm now going to make my fruit smoothie that i've been enjoying because it's so refreshing i personally really like green apples pears bananas mango of course as you know pineapple um coconut water i like adding coconut water to all my smoothies because i just feel like it adds a really nice distinguished texture i am also excited to make green smoothies on this because if you guys saw i made my first green smoothie on my old blender and it was really chunky so i cannot wait to see how it's going to blend the green smoothie but today i'm going to do a fruit smoothie because it's a really hot day and i just want something refreshing all right so here is everything that i'm going to be using for today's smoothie just mango chunks pineapple fresh pineapple chunks this has been the collagen that i've been using and loving i love adding this to my smoothies because it doesn't have any flavor and then coconut water to top it off so let's put it all in I always make more than I should as you can see I still have a little bit left but oh my god to top it off I think I'm going to add some coconut flakes so here is my quick lunch of the day I'm just going to have some lettuce with cucumber and feta and then my mango pineapple coconut smoothie if you guys have been on the fence of getting the Vitamix this is your sign this is amazing and such an investment. Cannot wait to continue to make smoothies here and share them with you guys. So yeah, let me enjoy this now. I think I'm going to start building the furniture now and put the doors to this bookshelf and also build the dresser. So let's get to it. Solo por un beso. Haha. Rumba. 
Actually a lot more stressful than I expected especially just putting the doors like it's not like I built the entire bookshelf I don't know if I want to put myself through that with the dresser right now so I might just wait for Eric to get here so he can build it and I take a little break because I'm really tired guys Eric just got home and brought me flowers well he doesn't know is that he's gonna have to build my dresser. <laughs> new dresser thanks to Eric <laughs> right change tops I feel like I've changed my top like three times in this video but we are doing a impromptu date night rooftop lime cheese we ended up coming to the main floor because the rooftop was actually pretty packed but I feel like I'm always showing you guys my view from the apartment down and not from down here. I cannot wait till they open the pool. so nice from upstairs. You wanna go back up? No. It's also nice being down here by ourselves. Okay. I can only imagine the amount of people looking at us and judging us just like I do. We gotta grill more. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is Stephanie's wine and I love it. It's delicious. SML. It's like the cutest thing ever and it has like the cork it says drink me and her website and then sml printed why is it not focusing how cute is that congrats Steph. i can't wait to try the white one but this one is really good and smooth <laughs> 